Welcome everyone to Belinda's Country Living. Today we did our weekly food pantry haul and this is what the church does in Whiteland, Indiana. It is called Harvest Time Food Pantry. They do it every Thursday from uh, 2 to 3 p.m. Also, they do a senior day once a month, and that is the fourth Friday of the month, and that is just for senior day, seniors only. And they help you on that day with household items such as toilet paper, you know, other necessities that we need. Um, I had noticed today there are more and more vehicles in that line. So, you know, with the prices of food, uh, people are struggling. So reach out to your state because there's pantries in every state. You know, Google it, um, foodpantries.org, dial 211, put in your zip code. I will leave some links in uh, my video description um, so you can go check out. There is help out there. Don't be ashamed. It's there for the taking. So let's, let me turn you around here and show you what I was blessed with today. Okay, so we got today... We got some sourdough. We got a, a green pepper. Now that is a little soft, but yeah, I will cut that up and put it in a freezer bag if I don't use it right away. Um, Cause these freeze very well. We got a bag of potatoes. Them are some huge potatoes. I go through a lot of potatoes. Gallon of 1% milk. Some celery. We got some French bread. A bag of onions. We got a bag of apples. Michigan apples. Three pair tomatoes. We got some more of the cinnamon toast. Uh, Cinna dust cookie mix. Last week I did make two batches of cookies in the air fryer. And I had no luck whatsoever with the air fryer. But I'm new to air frying so I'm sure... It was me. Bag of mac and cheese. Another bag of raisins. I think I got three bags last week and I used some um, some raisins in my apple salad. So if you ain't seen that video, go watch that. It's very good salad. Um, and then I eat raisins every day. Also got some more uh, Michigan Pride apricots. I think I've got maybe nine cans. I have made apricot pie. That is not um, a very good hit on YouTube. But let me tell you, apricot pie is very delicious. It um, almost tastes like a peach pie. So we got some chicken noodle soup, that I'm going to gift that to my lady friend, some ravioli, another bottle of ketchup. I don't know how long ketchup lasts, but uh, I've got several bottles. Another can of pink salmon. I have made salmon patties. Um, tell me what else. Um, in your comments, what you, what else could you do with pink salmon? Uh, we got an, 
vegetal mixed vegetables. Can of tuna, another box of mac and cheese, diced tomatoes, chunky salsa, cabanzo beans, and a packet of cauliflower and broccoli. We got three packets of breakfast sandwiches, sausage, and then boys, they come home from school, they'll be popping them in the microwave or the toaster or the air fryer. A bag of decaf coffee. <clears throat> My allergies, I've been outdoors and oh. And we got some other two sandwiches, uh, tomato, mozzarella, say like, like a pizza roll up. We got a bag of frozen apples, already, already diced, already cut up into slices. That will make a good apple pie or put them in a steal it and has some fried delicious apples here we got not sure it says cooked pulled pork frozen solid fall that out and slap that on some of that french bread that'll be good we got a pound of jimmy dean sausage a pound, all this is frozen. A pound of ground beef. Some baby carrots. Sweet. This says keep frozen until used. Break, seal, and thaw under refrigeration immediately before use. Now, they're an individual packets um, ocean perch fillet frozen fish that's nice that they're individually packed gonna uh, this appears to maybe be some cheese don't know the things the labels wore off not sure about that we got a packet of pork loin bone in assorted chops. It's getting that time we can fire up the outside grill and do some cooking out there. Okay, over at the table we got two boxes of cereal. Frosted mini wheats, strawberry, frosted bran, raisin bran cereal. Got a lot of fiber in that, y'all. Two boxes of Pringles, and I believe that's creamy, uh, probably sour cream. Don't know. I don't buy that stuff, but... And several boxes of Cheetos. Big bag of Torito nacho cheese flavored popcorn. A big <clears throat> box of cookies. Bag of marshmallows. These are the campfire marshmallows. I love roasted marshmallows. And we got some individual there's cupcakes. Um, wild blueberry. I will take some of these to my lady friend Wilma. Bless her heart. I love that woman to death. Dark chocolate. Peanut butter cups. And this is caramel two-layer white cake slice. 
a box of Hershey's triple chocolate cakes. Oh my. Yeah, them are good. Grab you a big glass of ice cold milk and oh my. Sit down and watch a movie. We got some soda, some couple cans of root beer, Sprite, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper. There's a diet. A few bottles of water, lemonade. They did give us a this week. Disinfecting wipes. I love them wipes. You could do use them wipes for everything. I like to use them to wipe off the um, your switch plates, you know. Electrical switch plates. Them are great for that. And um, so that's what we got. The Mountain Dew. I don't ever buy Mountain Dew. If I buy soda at all, it's going to just be Pepsi. Because I'm a Pepsi drinker. But if you got children that are ADHD, please don't give them Mountain Dew. Oh, my word. My youngest grandson... He just turned 15. He's ADHD. <laughs> Bless his heart. But don't. I will not let him have Mountain Dew. So back over. We did get some little pint. Uh, I think three pints of ice cream. And I've already got that in the freezer. I'm going to take that to Wilma. There's a few things here that I will be taken down to the blessing box. So I will load them up again this week. So what I don't use, I do gift it out. So that's what I was blessed with today. And I hope, I'm telling you, it is such a beautiful day today. Uh, I should be out in the yard doing something um, but we had to do this. I'm going to turn you around. Had to go there. Also, I got a video I got to work on doing a product review on a miniature six inch chainsaw. So I do have to work on that video there for that this week. <clears throat> so in your comments, <clears throat> Let me know what you would do with some of this food. Um, I like to read y'all's comments uh, and get ideas on recipes because that's how we all learn from each other. Everybody cooks differently. I am trying to get my videos down to where they're not so long. <clears throat> Excuse me, I know some people, they frown on the videos being long or if you talk too much. But, you know, sometimes I can talk too much. But that is life. And that's how you all are going to get to know me. Also, I received some mail today from two of my subscribers. I haven't opened the mail and I'm going to do a video on that. Um... I'm kind of excited to see what it is, but I'll do a, a video on that. It um, was from um, the channel. She has a channel, and so does her fiancé uh, on YouTube, and it's Living My Best Life After 60, so they sent me some mail, so I'm excited, but um, anyway... I do got to do a video on that. So, I want to tell you all out there, don't be ashamed to reach out and get this food. You know, whether you're working, it doesn't matter. There's families out there that they work 40 hours a week and they still can't make ends meet. Whether they got a mortgage or rent, utilities coming up. 
this will help you save to make sure that you keep a roof over your head. That is the number one thing. Make sure your rent is paid and your mortgage is paid. All of this food you can go get. That will help cut your budget. So, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing and giving me the thumbs up and leaving your comments. And as always, remember, God blesses us every day. It's up to us to know when he has blessed you. Till the next time, y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.